Hello, so a while ago the Labor Party installed a bunch of administrators for the CFMEU and there's just been a leak of these administrators in the national branch of the CFMEU and there are 11 of them. And these 11 administrators are earning more than the entire South Australian CFMEU branch, so that's all the like officials and stuff, all of them, just 11 people, are earning more than that and also almost the same as the entire Western Australian branch of the CFMEU, just 11 people. These are all Labor Party members, Labor Party hacks and ACTU hacks. Some of these people on these insane wages were sacked from the CFMU for doing a shit job and now they've been installed back and their wages are paid by CFMU members, not the government. This is the government installing Labor Party members and the CFMU members are the ones paying their wages. This is pretty much jobs for mates, but instead of the Liberal Party, it's just the Labor Party. Also something really funny about this is that the Deputy Chief of Staff is earning more than the Chief of Staff, which is gonna like cause a fight with them and like they can get fucked and whatever, because they don't know each other's wages. Previously, the secretaries of the CFMU earned an amount that was consistent with the kind of highest earning members in their union, the working members, and that was because they were incentivized to not increase their own wages unless the whole wages of the union increased, which is a really good thing. It keeps them in touch with its members and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it also means they're accountable to their members. So like, you lose that wage if you don't win your election, if they don't vote for you, if they don't think that you're earning the amount that they think you should be earning, you can just piss off. We don't want you. Now, members cannot vote these people out. Members can't decide uh, you know, you, you're, not, you're not doing enough work to earn the money that you're getting. And yeah, they're completely unaccountable to their members. And now the head administrator is on $643,000 a year, which is like three times as much as the previous uh, secretaries were earning. That's pretty insane. And if you think about how out of touch that is with the rest of the working class in Australia, that is very Labor Party. Every single one of these administrators is earning way more than the highest paid working members of the CFMEU earn. What's happened to the CFMEU at the moment is that imagine you voted in a state election, you voted for your member uh, to represent you and your electorate, and then the Labor Party come along and go, nah, fuck your election, I'm gonna put my mate in and I'm gonna pay him a bunch of money from your wages. Also something important to note is that CFMEU members voted for the administrators to tell them how much they're earning and the administrators said no, we're not going to tell you how much they're earning. So now it's leaked, now people know, people always assume that they were earning these ridiculous salaries and it turns out, yes they are. These same administrators keep saying we want to increase democracy in the union and all that kind of stuff but they deny it at every turn. The government has said that this administration is in the interests of CFMEU members and instead they're paying seven people $170,000 a month to do absolutely nothing. How is that in the interests of CFMEU members? Anyways, check out the Jacobin article on this and also check out the press release from Defend the Unions, Defend the CFMEU. Thanks for listening.